Hey everybody, this is Brian from PB Homesteading, and I wanted to give you this week's update for the uh, Salad Bar LED Grow Tent. So let me uh, get my goggles on here, so that way I can show you what's happening. <laughs> Safety first, remember guys. Okay, so we've got the hot mix. This here uh, is not doing as I expected in comparison to the mid-size grow tent in the video you'll see this week of what the one that I've done a cut and come again. So I've done the first cut on the corollary tray of this and it is actually taller than this tray here that has never had a cut yet. So it's kind of baffling me that maybe the cutting actually stimulates this variant of uh, lettuce green because from what I have you know, been growing with this, it seems like this one should be further ahead. But uh, that one in there seems to be trucking along like it should be. So I'll, I'll cut this this week as part of our cuttings. And then we've got the gourmet lettuce blend here. Let me get the camera and you guys can see a little better. So this is the gourmet lettuce blend. And then we also have a core, you know, the, the correlating gourmet lettuce blend both over here. So this week's salads are going to be both uh, gourmet lettuce mix along with the uh, Silverado chard. You can see the Silverado chard, we didn't harvest any last week, and it's really got some nice leaves growing back on this, so it's ready for another cutting. So we'll get a lot of lettuce off of these two trays, this one here and this one here. And then one thing to note is last weekend, I believe I said I was going to take just two trays, and I skipped the Silverado chard to give it some more growth. Well, with just these two trays like this size, with this lettuce, we got four dinner salads as well as enough lettuce left over for our Tuesday taco night. So that's, you know, four meals where we had salad as the main meal with some kind of, uh, you know, a meat on it. Like, you know, we had steak one night with the, the salad, you know, mixed on top like a steak salad or a, you know, a chicken salad, that kind of thing. But, uh, you know, that's, that's, that's impressive to me as well to Paula because she does our grocery shopping and she doesn't, she hasn't had to buy lettuce for like the last, you know, month. Because she usually will buy like, you know, an iceberg lettuce, which I can't stand because iceberg lettuce basically has n no nutritional value. And it's, you know, so bland for our tacos. But uh, we had this with our tacos and it's really good. I mean, you stuff this down in the shell and, and it is, I don't, I love Taco Tuesday. That's, <laughs> that's my favorite meal of the week. But uh, so you figure, you know, I don't know what those, you know, I don't do the grocery shopping. But those plastic tubs that you buy with this organic lettuce, I mean, you're probably spending, I don't know, five, six bucks on those things. And I figure with the amount of electricity I'm spending down here under the house and, you know, in the Pacific Northwest, we have like 10 cents a kilowatt hour if you're running during the day. And I think it's like eight cents or six cents at night because I run all my lights at night. So after peak hours, but uh, I figure I'm probably growing, you know, that same equivalency, you know, per tote. If I had to buy five of those totes, at six bucks a piece, it's like 30 bucks. And I think I'm probably spending $2, maybe in electricity costs for, you know, running the uh, the heater in the tent on the cold nights, and as well as like maybe the, you know, the heat mats that are underneath these to keep their feet warm. And then the lights themselves, you know, these lights up above and then lights in the other tent. I figure I'm probably spending two bucks, every, you know, over a three, three week span to grow this. You know, per like if I if it'd be two dollars per box of that plastic say size, because you know if I'm getting five salads, you figure each dinner salad, you know, one of those kind of bowls that's like I don't know, the kind of big plastic, black or you know, silver shiny bowls of, you know, I'm not a cook, so I don't know <laughs> how you measure those things. I don't know, eight quart bowl, something like that. But uh, you know, you're filling one of those up with salad, and you know, Paula and I and our our son, we eat off that. And, you know, that's a meal, you know, we're you're spending two dollars in the lettuce and then you have the other stuff for the food. But, you know, you figure two dollars and if I'm doing, you know, six of those, five of those containers, at six bucks a piece. That's 30 bucks if you're buying it at the store and if you're getting it, you know, producing it yourself, that's 12 bucks. So, I mean, right there, I'm saving 20 some dollars, you know, and where is it? Yeah, I don't know, 20 dollars, 18 dollars, you know, I don't know right in that range because I don't shop I'm rambling with you guys sorry <laughs> I, I get excited about this because I'm actually you know people ask are you actually saving money or is this more of like just spending money to, to have a hobby well 
I feel that you know with the initial investment you get in these tents or these grow areas over time you will make your money back I mean I know I have not capitalized on my depreciation costs of what it cost me to set up all this stuff yet but over time I mean LED lights are supposed to have like a 30 year lifespan if I get 10 years out of these lights I'm gonna be making my money back easily because you know you figure you know each week I'm saving 20 bucks 20 bucks 20 bucks 20 bucks 20 bucks week after week you know there's 52 weeks in a year you know what is that hundred dollars and I don't know something like that more than that God, I can't do math in my head when I'm sitting here on the fly <laughs> you do the math and then post it in the, the notes down below but you know you figure you're saving 20 bucks over 52 weeks I'll probably pay for this you know setup that I've got behind me with the mid-size grow tent as well as this this setup here you know this one here I've only got I mean I've got the timer which is like 20 bucks I've got this other timer down here which was 10 I've got that little fan I picked up for around two dollars and I've got the two lights 65 bucks a piece and all these all these items that I use in my uh, videos are down in the show notes you can see the links to them on Amazon but uh, this one here was cheap to build. I mean, I got insulated panels on the side. I built a little tray out of used wood and used drawer slides. I mean, I'm only into this thing, you know, maybe, I don't know what, 180 bucks, something like that, with just, you know, the, the wood and supplies I had left over. You know, you have to pay for that eventually. But anyway, I'm pretty pleased with what I'm getting. So this week, we're gonna have another two trays plus the chard Plus, I'm going to cut this off, so we will probably have at least five salads, maybe six, over this next week off of just these trays. And that's going to give me enough time to where I can actually veg out my other trays for an additional week to where they're going to be even bigger. So I think we're going to be pretty set, well set up to go through the winter. And I'm actually going to have to probably dump a couple trays after this next week so I can start seeding the next round of trays because I'm going to have too many second cut trays in the tent to where I'm not going to have the production I'm getting off of these first cut trays. So I always want to keep a new set of first cut trays rotating in probably every two weeks. So that way by the third week that I'm taking a tray and tossing it, I've got two more trays in the tent that have already been vegging for two weeks. So that'll that'll keep my production up over the entire winter and saving us money. All right, it's been a long update for the salad bar LED that I, this week, but uh, I, I love talking about this stuff with you guys because I mean, if you haven't noticed, I love doing this stuff. So I'll talk to you again. This has been Brian from pnbhomesteading.com. Talk to you again. Bye.